Let's see a few standard discrete time signals that will be used for solving numericals. Okay, uh, we're going to see mainly three signals. The first signal that we're going to see is unit impulse signal. The next type of signal that we are going to see is unit step signal. And the third type of signal that we are going to see is the ramp signal. Okay. Now let us see the first type of signal that is unit impulse signal in detail. Okay. Unit impulse signal is denoted by delta n is equal to 1 for n is equal to 0 and it is equal to 0 for all the other values. Okay. So, it is equal to uh, 0 whenever n is equal to 0 that means my, the amplitude of my signal is going to be 1 at that time and when for all the values where n is not equal to 0, it is going to be 0. Now, let us see how it looks graphically. Let us see the graphical representation of the unit impulse signal. This is n, this is delta of n, okay, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on, okay. At n is equal to 0, my value is going to be 1 according to the definition, rest everywhere it is going to be 0. So, this is how the signal is represented graphically, okay. Now, what if I want a series of this signal, okay. So, delta n is represented by uh, actually it is a infinite series, right. So, we start with a dot 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 0 0 0 1 0 comma 0 comma 0 dot 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 and then we ended uh, showing that it is a continuous uh, it is a infinite signal right for all the other values of n it is 0 and when n is equal to 0 the value is 1 ok my arrow over here means that my origin is here ok so that is this ok I hope you are understanding uh, this is the series for my unit impulse signal ok now let us go to the uh, unit step signal. My unit step signal is defined as u of n is equal to 1 for all the values of n which are greater than equal to 0 and my u of n is equal to 0 for all the values of n that are less than 0. Okay. So, every value of n which is equal to or greater than 0, uh, the value of u of n is 1 for that and the value of u of n is 0 for all the values of n that are less than 0. Now, let us see the graphical representation of this. Okay. At the x axis I have n and at the y axis I have u of n that is denoted by the unit step signal. Okay. Uh, so, as in the definition for all the values that are uh, of n that are greater than equal to 0, my value is 1. Okay. So, that is what I am doing right here. Okay. 
for every value which is 0 or more than 0 and I just say uh, I just represented by dot 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 meaning that for all the values that are greater than 0 in the right direction the right hand side direction or all 1 ok and all these are 0 ok so minus 1 is 0 minus 2 is 0 n is equal to minus 3 is also 0 ok this is the graphical representation how do you represent the series of this uh, ok you have u of n is equal to ok so at my origin it will start with 0 1 2 3 and so on this is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on ok so this is the series of my unit step signal the third type of sig signal that we are going to see is the ramp signal ok uh, the ramp signal is denoted by u r of n and is defined as u r of n is equal to n for all the values of n greater than equal to 0 ok and it is equal to 0 for all the values of n that are less than 0 ok now let us see the graphical representation to make this more clear Okay. My x axis is going to be n 0 here, my y axis is going to be u r of n. Okay. I am going to have 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. This is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. Okay. Now, what is what have they said the value of u r and uh, u r of n which is the value at the y axis is equal to n ok. So, when my n is equal to 0 that means my value is 0. If my n is equal to 1 that means the value of u r of n is also 1. If my n is equal to 2 that means the value of u r of n is also equal to 2. If my n is equal to 3 the value of u r of n is also equal to 3. Sorry for that crooked line. All right. Um, so this is three right here. Okay. Uh, for my n is equal to four, the value of u r of n is also going to be four. Okay. So, this is how it looks like, it looks like a ramp, ok. Uh, so, that is why it is called as a ramp signal for all the values where n is equal to, uh, n, n is equal to greater than equal to 0, you have the value of u r of n as uh, n, ok. So, this is the ramp signal, now let us see the series, ok. So, um, for the series, it is going to be u r of n is equal to n right. So, u r of 0 is equal to 0, u r of 1 is equal to 1 because this and this value has to be same, u r of 2 is equal to 2, this and this value will be same ok. So, that is why my series is going to be, we will start with zeros, uh, 0, 0, 0, then uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on ok. Where is my origin going to be? My origin is going to be at 0 over here because u r of 0 is equal to 0 ok. This is minus 1 minus 2 this is 1 2 3 4 and so on alright. So, this is my ramp signal ok. Next we are going to see a numerical uh, which incorporates all these concepts.